practical. All right. Um, this is the language that kind of confuses everybody, and you know, because it's functional. It's not like a C-based language, but um, you know, it's really not that difficult, and the code comes out to be a lot shorter because of the way it's set up here, right? So, um, you know, let's get into it right here, right? I don't really like the way people teach it, right? Okay. Uh, so I, I decided to try to do my own tutorial uh, and the reason for this I was gonna do this is, is because I wanted to, I want to write uh, Plutus uh, for Cardano smart contracts or get into the DeFi space of that right uh, that platform uh, as of now is not really out yet you know or really out yet but um, you know, I want to be ready for when it is out. So that's I, I think that's why everybody has you know interest in Haskell right now as a you know, as a language. Because they said Plutus is like basically a offshoot of it. You know, it's their version, but it um, it definitely it definitely you know it, they even even when you go through other tutorials or you look on the Cardano site, they say learn learn uh, um, learn Haskell first and this will make it much easier on you so let's go okay so to install it if you're not using Linux uh, I, I'm on I'm on Ubuntu right now using Mac OS just use this command right here I don't have a Windows computer set up so just go through this uh, setup right here this is a uh, doc dot Haskell, Haskell stack .org. you're gonna you're gonna install the stack command right okay so if you want to check if uh, if it's installed correctly just put stack version in there and you should get that set up right there right okay all right we're gonna get into some code in a minute but I found two articles that I'm gonna leave in the bottom um, other reasons to use Haskell right because I find that rust is kind of some of the things in the, like the guards and things like that are are in like languages like rust and things like that and it you know it's been inspired by that because Haskell has been out for a very very long time right and you know memory safety garbage collection you know it gives you all the reasons in this article why you should use Haskell for your projects right you can build web, web servers you know concurrency is a big one nowadays right uh, you can build they have a, a web server framework named Spock and you know like Erlang another functional language they are famous for being used in, in WhatsApp if you don't know what WhatsApp you're probably an American right because most Americans don't use WhatsApp but if you're ever in any other part of the world, you probably use WhatsApp. Um, you know, it's basically it's a it's a chat messaging app um, that everybody else uses, right? And they they're you know they they may they put Erlang back on the map because they're using that and with their their OTP um, you know because very fault tolerant, right? So I tried to find something for Haskell that that's used in the real world, right? And I came across this Facebook engineering. I'll leave this also in the in the um, in the uh, comments below, you know, or in the in the comments, right? And fighting spam with uh, with Haskell. I actually saw this first in a video, and one of the guys was like, uh, "Hey, I didn't know Facebook had spam." And he's like, "Yeah, that's how good we are because they're using Haskell, right?" So read up on this article, and that'll be it. But we're gonna get into it. Let's get to our first example. Of hello world. All right, so we're gonna do our first example. Hello world. Okay, so new file. So hello world. Dot hs. Hs is uh we um you know the terminate uh the 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 suffix. Okay, so let me write this out. Okay. All right, so in Haskell. The last statement is what's going to return from, um, you know, from the function. This is actually a function right here, right? This is the main function, and what this is up here is the type signature, right? So we're saying main is going to be the is going to return a type of I/O, which put string the put string line is basically print. You can also use print. You can also use print in here as well, but it's not going to put a terminating line of character on there, right? Okay, so let me do this okay so in order to run a program right a lot of people will show you GHC I don't like running programs like that so you want to do run GHC and in a program name so hello world.hs okay 
that'll run your program hello world right there like I said you can put print and then you can or you can put or you can put uh, put str ln capital and that'll that'll print out to the screen and we'll just run this stack run ghci hello world again and then that's what we got right okay I made the screen a little bit bigger for you guys alright so now we're gonna declare variables so there's two ways you can do this and this will come in a little bit uh, we can okay let's call this we're gonna move this hello world into a variable right so we'll put hl colon colon string so we're declaring hl as a string up here right in this sort of global space right and then we put hl equals and then we'll put this hello world in here right All right, so this is actually this is actually how you declare a function as well, right? Um, this is just telling you that H is going to return to like from the signature. to tell you H H L is going to return you know a string, which is going to return hello world right here, right? Like I said, the last thing in the statement is going to be what's returned. So we'll put H L here, right? All right, let's run stack GC. And then we got our hello world, right? Now, okay, let's say we want to concatenate a string, right? Okay, so now we have to use print, right? We put this dollar sign out uh, over here to separate as a separator, and then the plus plus operator is is uh, to concatenate strings. So I'm going to say I'm here, okay? All right, so clear. And there you go. Hello world, I'm here. So you have the concatenation, right? All right. So now let's say we, you know, this is how we're going to declare it globally, but we want to declare it locally in inside the main function, right? So we have to use a new keyword, right? We have to use let. So we let H L equal hello world. Okay. Feels like that ain't gonna work. Okay, let's see if that compiles. Error do. Okay, main do. Okay, so yeah, if we use the lead keyword, it'll let us put this uh it'll let us put this inside of the, the do function, right? Okay. Okay. Let's say let's say we're gonna uh, let's say that we're we okay. We want to declare a function, right? So now a function is declared in the same way that we declared kind of a variable. I tried to explain it to you the last time. So we're gonna make a function add two. So add two. Okay. And what this is gonna what this is gonna be. Okay. And that's it. This is how you this. What they call in turbo the turbo fish operator in Rust, these double colons. This is going to declare the function signature. So we're going to put an integer in there. It, this are it's going to take an integer, and it's going to return an integer. Okay. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Right. So we'll call this add two. All right, and we'll put uh, n. That's going to be the variable. And then it's going to take n plus 2. So whatever you put in here, plus 2. So it's taking in an integer from here. And then it's returning an integer, the result of n plus 2, right? So let's put this over here, right? Let's take this hello world out. Okay. All right. And I'll put add 2. And then we'll call that five, right? All right. All right. So two plus five is seven, and we can do just like the regular operators. We'll just call this. Uh, we'll put the. We'll we'll put a, a, a multiplication symbol in there, right? So now it's going to do two. So it's going to do two times five, which is going to be ten. Okay. And we can divide 
think it's like that. No, it's not like that. There's a the use of the rod. Now, this type signature is going to be off because it's going to return a fractional, right? So, cool thing about Visual Studio is if you have the Haskell plugin installed, right? Once you take that out, put it in there, it'll put it in there for you. It's going to be a fractional A and it's going to return AA, whatever, you know? Alright, and so we can use that. That'll return 2 divided by 5 is 2.5, right? Okay.